have Aaliyah Garrison. Hello, hi, my name is Elia Fajardo Garrison and I'm from Bedminster Township. I am the mother of five Penridge School District students, former educator, y la hija de un inmigrante mexicano y un cubano en el exilio, daughter of a Mexican immigrant and Cuban exile. The reason why I'm here today is because of a growing concern and direction I see in this district. That direction is towards embracing praxis and critical theory disguised under the DEI initiative. One doesn't need to be an expert to know that this is a move this district is doing to help embolden an agenda that as a minority, I see only hurting our students more than helping. A little bit of research will show you that this theory has its roots in Marxist ideology. This is it, Stockton. <laughs> and anything that has its roots in Marxism automatically gets my attention. As I mentioned before, my father is a Cuban exile. He was forced to leave Cuba during the start of the revolution. The poison of Marxist ideology took over quickly, not letting others voice dissent. If they did, they were quickly quieted, censored, imprisoned, tortured, and even killed. Many were my family members. These voices you hear from Cuba now are the people asking for libertad, which means freedom, which shows you the failures of Marxist ideologies. I see firsthand what happens when Marxist ideology and indoctrination occurs in schools. I've seen when an agenda is used to embolden a narrative. On the first day of school in Cuba, little ones are asked if they believe in God. They then ask them to close their eyes and ask him for candy. When they open their eyes, there's no candy. Then they ask the kids to close their eyes and ask el gobierno, which is the government, for candy. When they open their eyes, their desks are filled with candy. That is indoctrination. <laughs> what is the difference between teaching my children that their white side has privilege and they must fight discrimination with discrimination. As a parent of mixed race children and as a person who has seen firsthand Marxist ideologies take root and grow, I can't in good conscience allow this to enter a school district, let alone become curriculum. We can't think for one second that the division is going to bring understanding or love, that bringing out flaws or asking children to pay for the sins of the past will allow for our country and world to heal racially. When my minority children are instead being referred to as marginalized, I take offense to those terms. None of what is being brought into practice through the DEI initiative is for the betterment of my children or any child in this district. Instead, it's creating a division between races, colors, and beliefs. Most important, this division is veiled under the umbrella of anti-racism. Since I moved to Penridge area three years ago, I have felt nothing but kindness and love and respect from this community. We're thankful for treating you even more so this past year and a half, which has been challenging enough for the children. That being said now, we are going to turn to an educational theory that is only going to knock them down before building them up. Why not teach our children to love each other, everyone, starting with themselves. Teach them to be kind, help them understand that they each have a gift regardless of their skin color, racial background, or ethnic heritage.